So if you don't, if you got to go, this will be recorded and it will be in Hustle University. So with that, we will get it started. All right. My name is Glendon Cameron, and this is the new Hustler orientation. I decided to do this because I made a lot of changes with the Hustler Mindset Project. That project, it's well over a year old. It's, it's grown past my expectations. It's my intention to make it better, bigger, greater. So I decided as part of that, just to help new people out and maybe some of the older people, I'm going to start doing these orientations. Just a quick overview of what's going on, what are the benefits, and how Hustle, Uni Hustle University can help you, because that's going to be the main area. So with that... Now, there are three components of the Hustler Mindset Project. Disruptive Life Coaching, Advanced Conservative Hustler Mindset Training, Hustlers University. I'll start with the one that is the most dear to me, and it's going to be the most limited because it's not a lot of people going to be in Disruptive Life Coaching or DLC. That is everything that I use to climb out of that boarding house situation. When I created the Hustle Mindset Project, it was just like, you know, I kept saying mindset. I actually started a Hustler Mindset lit playlist on YouTube in 2011. And, you know, it, it did really well. A lot of people liked those original videos. Then I was like, oh, okay. And then it just kind of rolled and it turned into this thing. And I was just like, mindset. You got to stay on the right mindset. And I ran into some problems because I forgot that people are not accustomed to thinking. I don't see that as a slam or a slight, but many people do the cultural narratives are situated and predicated on getting things handed to them in a neat, easy, digestible package. And if it doesn't come like that, it's problematic. And many of the concepts and things that I were I was putting out, they were just too large for people who didn't have the right perspective at that. They just weren't ready for that because my background was the storage auctions. So everyone was like, hey, storage auction tips are some secret, wonderful, magical way to make a lot of money with storage auctions. It's not really a secret. It's called hard ass work. That's how you make a lot of money with storage auctions. So I actually have kind of did a 180. I'm putting a lot of the stuff that was going to go into the original Hustler Mindset Project into Disruptive Life Coaching. Then with Advanced Conservative Hustler Mindset Training, that's going to be mindset stuff. And with Advanced Conservative Hustler Mindset Training, it includes Hustler University and Disruptive Life Coaching includes Hustler University and Advanced Conservative Hustler Mindset Training. So that's that top level. There's just a few people in there. And you know, I'm, I'm going to grow that slowly because it's most dear to me. I actually had a great consult with someone who's actually in DLC and it was really awesome. So those are the three levels. And it's all about your mindset. Because if you join Hustler University, my goal is to make you a better person, a critical thinker, and to push you to be what you want to be. And let's really untwist that. People go on YouTube, they buy books. They gain information and they try to be whoever did the book. I don't want you to do that. I want you to be the best you that you can be because uh, during the consult, we started, we fleshed out some stuff that really wasn't previously considered. And at the end, we were like, yeah, I think that's it. And I will go into a little depth about that. When someone sends me a question, hey, Glendon, how can I make $5,000? by december and it's like october and it's just like i don't fucking know and i don't mean that i don't have the knowledge i mean i don't know who this person is when i'm dealing with a faceless nameless person who's asking these questions i don't know if they have a good work ethic i don't know if they have money in the bank i don't know if they're full of shit there's so many variables that are really critical to answering that question i can't answer that question honestly and with any great deal of confidence because i don't know who I'm talking to. And that was really, really frustrating because at one point I was getting all these questions and I was like, I don't know. Because, you know, I'm looking at you from an employer standpoint because, you know, I've owned the business and I've had to hire people and you have to look at people a different way when you're employing them. I'm just like, I don't know if you're going to be cut out for this. So 
that made me change this program because everyone was coming in because I can see when people could go to the Vidcaster site, that's the where the original Hustle Mindset project was, that they would just go straight to the money making videos and ignore, in my estimation, the most important shit. I was like, OK, you're missing the point. And part of being in business is you have to give the marketplace what it wants. And I'm sitting there like, okay, you need to get that stuff, but you're missing it. So Hustlers University. Hustlers University is where most of the people will end up. That's where most of the people are going to go. It's also going to be the most economical part of the Hustler Mindset Project. And with that, I am making a move away from eBay and Amazon Merchant Fulfill or Amazon MF. If you are trying to do Amazon my recommendation is to gear your business for Amazon FBA because Amazon, eBay, they both have made it extremely hard for a seller who's wrapping up to not get in trouble. It doesn't take that many bad marks to mess up your business with both platforms. It is really, really easy. I mean, you can have a year where you can get like percentage wise, maybe two or three percent that's not really good and that can, they can shut you down. So why even play that game when there are so many other games to play? So my recommendation is, you know, I'm not going to be talking about that. I did a video. I'm not going to be really talking about Craigslist. That's one of the reasons I marked the price of that stuff down really cheap. I'll still talk about it. I will still answer your questions about it. But I am trying to move you to a higher level of thinking. Now, with storage auctions, if you want to talk about storage auctions, my opinion, if you're going to get in the storage auction business and you're not looking at getting a warehouse, hiring employees and getting up to a minimum of twenty five to fifty thousand a month in gross sales, you are fucking off your time. Because the game is out. It's no longer esoteric. It's no longer a mystery. There's so many people. The prices are up. The only way that you're going to consistently really kill it is to push for volume. And to have volume, you need infrastructure and you need a system. I'll do webinars about that. I'll talk about that because the storage auction game has changed, but so many people don't have a warehouse. So many people don't have a system. So many people don't market. So that stuff is still really, really good information. I'll be putting that out and I'll probably do because I've got a few people in Hustle U who are doing uh, storage auctions and I'm trying to get people to have two, three, and four different streams of income because what's coming is crazy. But to stick with the orientation, these are the benefits that I want you to have. I want you to be a better you. That's number fucking one. Number one, number one, number one. Everyone's trying to like go out and get money and they think they're going to get money, take this external money, and then become better. No. There are people who are millionaires, stars, rock business people who have a ton of money and because they refuse to work on the inside, they're committing suicide, they're drug addicts, they're alcoholics, and they're doing all kind of crazy, dangerous stuff to themselves because you cannot solve internal problems with external solutions. So better relationships, everything that you do in life, you do for, through, and with other people. If you become really good at navigating and managing relationships, you're going to become very successful in life overall. Better life. I mean, I can't emphasize you really have to think about your life. So many people are like chasing that money because they're broke. They're poor. They're about to be put out. They understand. I've been there. But if you really put your life in the proper context and define what type of life that you want, then this other stuff makes sense. And then ultimately more money. That that is the, those are the benefits. That's what I want you to have. That's what I believe you can have. I came from the bottom. I was fucking homeless. I was living in a freaking car. I was in a boarding house with fucking crackheads. I don't really call that a privileged upbringing. I will say, you know, I grew up poor, but I grew up with, you know, it was poor fiscally, but in terms of love, family values, standards. I got a lot as a kid. I had stability, which is something a lot of kids don't have today. I had a lot of stability. So I kind of went through several things, but what I want you to understand is I don't care how jacked up your life is. 
you can do better. I don't care how old you are. You can do better. So just, you know, once again, to go over it again, DLC includes everything that I have. Then the advanced conservative hustler mindset training includes HU. Then Hustler University is a standalone just about money making information. That's going to be the only thing in Hustler U, and it will not be a heavy emphasis on eBay. It will not be a heavy emphasis on Amazon Merchant Fulfill. We'll talk about Amazon FBA. We'll talk about creating your own products. We'll cr talk about YouTube. We'll talk about blogs because essentially we live in a time where you can be where you are right now with no money, no skills. And within six months, you can be running an online business that gives you realistically 500 to 3000 a month income. That can be done in six months, realistically, by most people starting from scratch. And that's one of the reasons that I decided to stick with this because I was going to do resellology. I decided to abandon resellology and just strictly work on Internet making uh, money making ideas. Because there's so many. I mean, I, I look at my sheet and I've got all the stuff I want to do. And it's just like there's not enough hours in the day. So I had to pick some things and stick with them. So that's what's going on. So for a lot of you, Hustling University is going to be your home. That's where you're going to go. That's where you're going to be. And that's where you're going to get most of your stuff. The other two is mostly the founders that are in those situations. And the advanced conservative hustler mindset training. That's a hundred bucks a month. So, and then DLCs work more than that. And we're not even going to talk about that because not too many people are going to be there. And I'm kind of doing it by invitation only, or, I, you know, it's up on Gumroad for like 400 bucks a month. And someone may sign up, may not, we'll see. But definitely that's what's going on with that. So let's really boil it down. DLC. I'm going to talk to those people more one on one sessions. And that kind of goes back to what I said earlier. A lot of people want to talk and they have questions, but I'm one person and I actually had an assistant at one point and it didn't really work out the way that I thought because I had to respect myself, my time and my trials and tribulations, which means the information I have, I am not going to sell cheap. And I'm telling you this for a reason, because there are some of you who are listening to this, who have awesome information. You've done something, you have a high competency in a core skill, and you can sell that information. I'm telling you, do not sell it cheap, because what's going to happen, the people who get the best deals are going to be the most biggest pains in the ass. And then you're like, God, why did I sell myself so cheap to deal with this shit? So DLC is going to be crazy expensive, and if you don't like the price, you don't like the price, it's not for you. So that's kind of the deal. Now, some of the other benefits. If you are in Hustle U and you want to talk to me one on one, which seems to be a lot what a lot of people want to do, it's 150 bucks an hour. If you're not in Hustle U, it's 400 bucks an hour. So, if you know, I'm just saying, if you want to talk to me for one time, it would be it would be like the American Express Platinum deal because people don't understand that. If you have an American Express Platinum card and you buy a first class ticket with the card anywhere in the world, you get a matching companion ticket. As far as I know, it's freaking unlimited. And a lot of people are like, yeah, that's still a lot of money. But if you were going to go to Germany and you were going to go first class or business class anyway, why would you not buy that the American Express so you can bring your wife, your girlfriend? Why wouldn't you do it? Well, it's like, it's, a, it's just good to do it. So what I'm saying is, if you want to talk to me, and you don't want to be in Hustler University forever and ever. You're, it's cheaper to spend the $25 to get in Hustler University to buy than to get the console than to pay 400 bucks. But I've had people pay 400 bucks, and I actually told them in videos and put that out there, and they still pay 400 bucks, which I still don't understand. But thank you very much. So that's the deal. If that's what you want to talk to me. And for books and older stuff, like if you're in Hustle U now and you stay in there from now until next year, whatever books, whatever webinars, that stuff's included in your monthly membership fee. You know, there's no additional charges for that. The only additional charge is to talk to me directly. And I'm charge a lot of money because I'm fucking worth it. 
That's the deal. And at some point that's going to go up because that's for now. And that's one of the reasons that this orientation will change. Now, this is the thing. And I don't know if I can impress this hard enough on people's brains. Hustling is the exploitation of resources for the gain of additional or equal resources. It's much more than the acquisition of money. I have mentally hustled way more than I physically, fiscally hustled. Way more. There's your there's your emotional currency. There's your spiritual currency. Love is a currency. Affection's a currency. Intellect's a currency. Uh, just special abilities like you know being super strong. NFL basketball. It's a cur- there's so many ways that you can hustle that have nothing to do with money. But if you know what you're doing and you understand universal law, which would be mostly talked about in DLC and advanced hustler conservative mind training, hustler mindset training, you will be blown away at what you can do once you really begin to understand how to control your mind. That is, if I could say this to you right now, and if you listen to nothing else I said to you on this webinar, You must learn to control your thoughts. You cannot think negatively. Once you really begin to understand this stuff, you will work so hard not to have a negative thought. You would vigorously push negative people out of your life. It is that important. And the the other thing that if you're listening to me is you can shape your world. The Hustler Mindset Project isn't about just accumulating a whole bunch of money. When I say, you know, if you're not trying to get rich, you're fucking stupid. I'm not talking about just money. You know, for some people, being rich is being healthy. If you've ever been really sick or you've watched someone you love dearly die, you you don't take that for granted. So this is about shaping your world. This is about hitting that on button on the beast mode and becoming your own personal Superman. Superwoman, Wonder Woman, whoever you need to be, because I know no matter how fucked up your life is, you can improve it and you can change it. You can change it. I'm serious. There, This is. It, it is it leaves me speechless sometimes when I look at where I used to be in life and the things that happen from belief, hard work and never stopping. You can do so much. You are more powerful than you know. And it's scary how many people sell themselves and their life short. Okay, now this is the question session. But before we do that, I'm going to pop out and I'm going to show you some stuff. Facebook's a little different than a lot of things. So, you know, here's members events. I don't have any events. I don't have the folds, but this is where you want to go if you're new. This is where all of your information is. This is the information that I am moving from Vidcaster, see, storage auction stuff. The, the Craigslist stuff. This is where it is. And I'm going to continue to grow this section. I updated it. um, Well, it's also a sticky. But just showing you what's behind the sticky. I updated this on the 15th. So there's those links. But if you ever want to just go directly to the files, you can. And part of that is your... And that is your, make sure that's right. Yep, that's your consult. So you want that. If you want additional books, I had a link. I took it down. No one was really buying it. People seem to be more interested in the new stuff. So I went with that and I'll just stick with that. Just send me a link. Now, if you want to contact me, best way to do it is Facebook. Just Bam, hit that, send me a message. And I've cleaned up my email boxes. I've gotten rid of certain email accounts, blogs, and all this stuff. And it's very clean. It's very easy to get in contact with me now. 
versus the way it used to be because I was literally overwhelmed, even with an assistant. So that's the orientation. And understand there will be another one because I've held back the 50 laws of hustling. Uh, yes, because I needed to clean some stuff up because it was like I had things that weren't cleaned up. I had things that needed to be fixed. And I was like, you know what? I'll just hold back the 50 laws of hustling. Get these lists fixed. Get the um, orientation done. I had some personal consultations, you know, and all that stuff's done. And I got a few more to do this week, but I am so much caught up, more caught up than I have been in like three years. And it feels absolutely wonderful. So with that, <laughs> now we can do questions. Uh, I will go here. Want to learn more about CPA affiliate? There's a ton of websites. Where can I learn the basics with no hype? Okay, I'm going to ask a stupid question. What is CPA affiliate? I, I will say, for me, I don't know about affiliate stuff. The only affiliate thing that I have done that worked for me and I got money was Amazon affiliates. And that's going to be something we're going to talk about in Hustle You because I'm working on another project. What is the CPA stuff? Because I don't really do uh, multi-level marketing. I'm not going to bash it because I know there are some cost per action. I don't really, I don't use PayPal. I don't, the only ads I've paid for was Facebook. And I learned, I had to take a webinar to learn how to use those because what you think it is, it isn't. I cannot answer that question because I've never dealt with cost per action. I don't really, I haven't, I haven't studied that. I haven't used it, so I don't know. This, let's see, some I can look at in the future. But with that, you know, while you're getting your questions together, what I hope, what I want you to believe in is yourself because what I did with making money a to z with self storage unit auctions there are many of you who have knowledge you have a, a abilities that you can write a book you can create a course and you can do what i did and you can do better i'm more on creating your own stuff creating your own platform building it it takes time it takes a lot of time to build up i'm not going to sit there it's like it can be done overnight but for me and where I am in my life, I believe it is worth the time and effort to build that. Now, there's a lot of groups online and there are, um, there's a lot of ways to make money online. There are people who do just uh, affiliate marketing only. That's all they do. And there's some people making seven and eight figures doing that. I looked at that. But for me, once again. I like creating my own stuff and pushing me. Uh, here's one from Cody. Are you talking about the law of attraction? The law of attraction is part of it, but you've got the law of action, the law of intent. Give you an example. Like if you sit back and say it, it's with the hustle mindset, that's part of it by keeping your mind clean not thinking about negative stuff because your mind never shuts off, never shuts off. And when you start putting in a bunch of negative thoughts, when you go to sleep at night, your mind is processing those negative thoughts as dreams. So you think you only had that negative thought, but in reality, that negative thought went through your mind a hundred times. So in a way, and we're going to talk about that, uh, and, you know, in the, in the Hustle Mindset project. Uh, this is from Deb Williams. I wrote a book, Small, and I would go to Fiverr to clean it up. To promote it, to promote it what do I do next? Okay. How long do you have? This is the thing with books. And this is one of the reasons that I slowed down writing my books on the business side. The reason that my storage auction book did really well, because there was a market that was ready for it. I'm in three different writing groups, and we talk about this all the time. And there are many people who feel that a book that's well-written, well-edited, it should do well. 
that's a fallacy. It's not no, it's not even close to the truth. If you take a crappy book, and I'll use myself as an example, because the first book was crappy. I have no problem admitting that. I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of errors. That book made me a livable income in a matter of 14 months. Because the marketplace was like, hey, and there was no, I had no competition. I had no competition for about 18, 19 months. So with your book, and I don't know what it's about, but do some research and see how many people would be interested in that book. Now, I will give you one hint. If it's a small group, the book needs to be priced high. If it's a large group, you can price it cheaper. It's strange how that works out, but that's the thing with promoting books because I'm going to tell you about my experiences with Kindle. In a, I'll do that in Hustle University. And it, a lot of it was good. A lot of it wasn't. And I, I learned some things I can pass on to you because when you write a book, you have to do the promoting either yourself through Twitter, joining Facebook, talking to people, or hire someone or pay for advertising which can be extremely expensive and very ineffective. There's any more questions? Like I said, if you know it doesn't come to you and it comes to you later on, you can just, once I get this recorded and I get it in the hustle you, you can just ask questions on the video. I'll hold on a second because sometimes people are like, hey, well, you know, I got I got another question. Don't go away just yet. So I'll hold on a few seconds. Well, I'm thinking how small, how, how, how many pages is your book when you say small? Because Amazon has put on a limit. Like if your book isn't like if it's only 5000 words, you might have a problem sometimes posting it unless it's a children's book. They've made a lot of changes. You know, the what constitutes a book has changed so much. It used to be a book was 150, 200 pages. A book can be 25 pages. A book can be 17 pages. Uh, some of the best erotica that's still on Amazon is maybe 18, 20 pages. It's 2.99. So there's a lot of there's a lot to go with that. Okay, your book's 20 pages. Now, let's talk about that real quick. When you say 20 pages, is that 20 pages in your Word format or your pages, whatever, like 20 pages on, say, you wrote it in Word and you had it a standard sheet. Is it 20 pages like that? Because if you did that, then depending upon the front that you used, it may actually be 40 pages. So just something to think about. You know, how many words is it? How effective would it be to promote, and this is from Casey, how effective would it be to promote a book on YouTube without giving away the contents of the book? Unfortunately, unless you have a very compelling story, it's very hard. If you're not going to give away the book, and actually I will tell you something about that, you need a track record. Like if you're like brand new and no one ever heard of you, your book can be awesome. It can be totally 100% awesome. It's usually tough sledding. You, For you to sell something on YouTube, you need to be an authority in whatever niche that is, which means there needs to be some work done beforehand, um, typically blogging or something. Or you can kind of go back to what Deb Williams was talking about, cost per action. You can write a book, hook it up to a pay-per-click campaign, and some guys have made They've spent like five thousand dollars and made you know a profit of ten or fifteen or twenty grand doing just that with a book that they hired someone to write. There's a lot of ways to make money with a book, but the most important thing is what is the book about? If it's a book that helps people, turns people on, or make them laugh, you know, it's it's so deep. That's why I could probably talk six weeks straight about publishing because there's so many things that go into it that you never think about. And writing the book is the easy part. And if you know how hard it is to write a book, then you understand all the other stuff that you're looking at. But going on YouTube without a large following, no one knows who you are, trying to promote the book could be daunting. And now there are people who have small channels 
and they do consulting and they have a really good blog and they use YouTube to get people to the blog. And that's made a lot of people money. So it just really depends on what the book's about, how much you want to charge. If it's fiction, I'm going to say no. If it's a business type book or how to book, you, you can make some money. How much? I don't know. But it's, it's a better deal if it's a how to book. This is from this is Cody. What can you do to make money in a smaller city? Uh, that's where Hustler University is going. I haven't done it yet because I haven't had time to do the Tash Rabbit thing. But there are so many platforms that you can be virtually anywhere in the United States of America or even another country. Use that platform to get business and make money. There's Tash Rabbit. There's Airbnb. There's Uber. There, there's so many of these platforms. And it's just crazy. And I haven't had time to because what I want to do for you is I want to do it. I don't want to go like, hey, there's Tash Rabbit. I actually want to have some tasks, go out, make some money, share my experiences with you. And it'll be more impactful that way, I think. All right. You use Word. Let's see. This is from Steven. For our first ever YouTube videos, what book should I be reading and what editing software should we use? That's like all over the place. Um, what I'll do is put some more YouTube books because the thing is, this is YouTube. It's keywords or pretty girls. If you're doing business stuff and you get a lot of views, consider yourself very fortunate and very, very wise. But the books reading, I mean, I can just kind of put together a YouTube tutorial about that and put it in Hustle You because it's not that hard. The, the making of the video, just really quick, you need good sound, decent camera, doesn't have to be expensive. You know, I use my iPhone just driving around and lights. You can probably get a good setup for like three or four hundred bucks. If you have an iPhone or Android, you, the lights may cost you 90 and you're in the house. You just have to sit close to the phone. But editing software, I have used my first videos. I was using um, Windows, the editing software in Windows on that Toshiba, which I ended up making this video because my Toshiba kept crashing. Then I moved to Mac. I use iMovie. I've used iMovie for everything, but I'm not doing a lot of special effects, even though iMovie has tremendous capabilities. But if you don't have a computer, I would say get a Mac. If you already have one, just use what you have until you determine that you're going to make a lot of videos. Ooh, cooking videos and blacksmithing. I think there's a robust blacksmithing community on YouTube. Let's talk about that real quick. Do your YouTube channel and make sure that you know everyone knows that you're a blacksmithing. And see, so you would do not one channel, but two. You would do the blacksmithing channel and you would do the cooking channel because uh, if you're not if you're in the group, Steven's got this cuisine Facebook page and he's putting all this delicious stuff up all the time. I would definitely do that and also hook up your recipes to Pinterest and have the Pinterest go back to your YouTube channel because those pictures of the food that you put up, that stuff will get you traffic. It's amazing. People will click on the picture. They may not click on a bunch of words, but they'll click on the picture. And like I said, we're going to talk more about YouTube and Hustle University in depth. I'll just put together a course really quick, uh, show you how I do it. I mean, you don't have to get a Mac. I'm just biased with Macs because of my experience with Windows and all the issues I had. And then I went to Mac and it became very smooth. Any more questions? Hit me up. Love me long time. I'll hold off on a second. Let's see. All right. Deb, it put in Word. When you're writing a book and you're using Word or Pages, if you don't set the tabs for book size, which is like 6.9, 5.7, there's different sizes, it's going to probably be an 8 to a 9 by 11 sheet of paper. And you can get, I think, about a thousand words on that and there's 250 words per page on a six by nine book so 
That's what I'm saying. You know, your, your word count would be a better estimate of how many pages it would really be because what you're going to do is crank your page down and that's going to spread the words out and it's going to create more pages. <laughs> you can't. I, I don't know what to tell you about the uh, listening to the audiobooks. I've had people listen on Android, Mac. I mean, they're MP3 files. They're, they're, they're not proprietary to anything. You should be able to listen. I noticed that now I have an iPhone 5 and YouTube has done some stuff. Depending on which browser I use, I can't watch YouTube videos. If I use the Safari browser, I can. If I use the Google Chrome one, I can't unless I log into a special YouTube app. It's a trip. There's so much that's going on. And, you know, with uh, the weight of those files, I don't know if you want to listen to them on your, your phone because they will take up a lot of your space unless you've got a, one of those 64 megabyte phones. Now, why are you sitting there thinking? Because uh, I'm going to shut this down in a second. When the video gets posted, it will probably be tomorrow that I post it in Hustle University. Um, I want you to think of topics because, see, this is the cool thing about talking to you is think about some stuff that you want me to talk about in Hustle University because I'm definitely going to do YouTube stuff because YouTube, warts, issues and all, whatever you want to say, is one of the best ways to get traffic. The next thing to get traffic is podcasting. I did that for a while. I'm still going to do it. It's just I had to, like I said, once again, clean up stuff. So YouTube, number one, podcasting, number three, creating a blog and doing proper SEO is number three. Now, if you do all three of those things, then you can get an amazing amount of traffic to your your uh, properties, your internet properties. This is from Deb. What other income online you suggest for a beginner? I'll give you a quick one. You'll see me do this. Amazon does not pay a lot of money, but you could do a video about a product that you bought or are you going to buy or somehow get the product, do the video, do the review and put a link under it straight to Amazon. And if people buy it, you get money that way. I would say AdSense, trying to get money from, you know, a advertising I, as a beginner. No, I would say number one. The quickest and easiest way in my mind right now for a person who has no experience online to start and make five hundred to a thousand dollars within two to three months is Amazon FBA. And um, you can start up with maybe a hundred bucks. That would be probably the most organized thing that you can do. And you can do it pretty quick. Okay, selling, this is from Steven, selling on Pinterest. You you sell and you don't sell. What you do is you put the picture on Pinterest. And then when they click on the picture, they go back to your Facebook page. It's a way to get traffic to your page. I mean, we'll talk about that. Because the reason I didn't do Pinterest was it wasn't working for the store shock and stuff. It, Pinterest works for a lot of things that are driven, that are female driven. Cooking, fashion, hair, ward I mean, that type of stuff just goes bananas on Pinterest. Tools, not so much. Cars, exotic cars do okay. But anything that has to do with personal grooming, clothing stuff, it crushes it on Pinterest. I mean, there are people who are getting, in one of my e-commerce groups, a lady says that Pinterest is responsible for 40% of her traffic to her e-commerce site. And she sells clothing. So it is very powerful if you have the right stuff. Any more questions? Okay, well, you're thinking, I want to say, I want to say thanks to everybody that came out tonight. And thanks for everyone that's in Hustling University. I really appreciate it. And in the coming weeks, it's going to get better and better and better. So with that, I'll see you on the good side. One quick check for questions. All right. You're welcome, Deb. And this will happen again probably in a week or maybe two weeks. 
So there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going down for the holidays. All right, good people. Appreciate it. And uh, I will see you in Hustler University.